career fairs which happen in USC. So one is the entire USC career fair, uh, which is like uh, ends up having around ten engineering companies, and another is the Viterbi career fair. So Viterbi, that's the name of the engineering college at USC. Uh, so the Viterbi career fair is exclusively for engineering students, and there you will find like almost one hundred and fifty companies. So USC has this online portal called Connect SC. So Connect SC is like a really uh, helpful portal. and apart from that uh, many students also find internships via uh, online applications i guess many of the students might have already heard about lead code it's one of the best programming platform i have seen and it's i think the best programming platform for finding internships and full time jobs so probably do as many problems as you can on lead code and they even have a premium edition where obviously you have to pay some money but you get access to like frequent questions asked by various companies and apart from that as i mentioned before data structure is really important i really cannot like emphasize like emphasize on like how important it is like for internships uh, sorry for interviews in general another important thing is understand how to do a complexity analysis of your code so normally this will happen like in any interview you will write your code like when you will explain your idea then you will be writing your code and then the interviewer will definitely ask you like what is the complexity of your code so if you are really not aware about what exactly complexity means do go through the concept it's really important and another kind of questions with which normally encountered in uh, which are normally encountered in interviews is a uh, system design and scaling question so that's another kind of a problem where you will be given an abstract problem like okay design a parking lot for me uh, in such a question you will be expected to write object oriented code you will be expected to say like okay these are the classes which i think i need to implement these are the objects which i will create so system design is again another important thing and for system design i would recommend doing uh, questions from various sources online or maybe from a book called cracking the coding interview almost everyone got an internship and it might happen that maybe a few of them may not get an internship but then usc has these two uh, institutes or research institutes i think uh, one is called isi and another is called ict so those two are again like really good opportunities where students if they haven't got an internship in a corporate company or something they can definitely try out here like they have like pretty amazing and pretty cool projects i think it's a wide range like $25 to around $60 per hour yeah it's a pretty wide range it depends on the city and the company where you work if you really have shown like how much dedication you can put into your work how quickly you can get the results which you are expected to get and how much you love the work so there are numerous factors like involved but eventually if you are delivering results i think more often than not uh, you do get a conversion is the same career fair uh, the same career fair for internships and full time so no distinction uh, companies normally hire for like all kinds of positions always boils down to how you perform in your interviews how you you are able to convince your interviewer or how uh, clearly you can convey your ideas your solution to the interviewer so definitely always boils down to your interviews but yeah they do have an advantage of an experience normally you will end up getting an online coding test as your first very first screening round most of the companies they normally have a phone interview round and depending on the company they might have two or maybe one or maybe even three phone interview coding rounds and after your phone rounds they will have on site interviews so again depending on the company you might have three maybe four maybe even five to six uh, on site interviews the range which you can expect is uh maybe the average uh, should be around 90 to 100000 dollars per year 
the people around you are like so smart and so hard working you will get like to learn a new thing probably like not every day then like probably every week you'll end up learning something new from every person you meet so like very smart people and that's what like google does like they normally hire like uh, they want to hire like pretty good candidates so you'll end up working with like really smart candidates and people are really smart the projects are really amazing so any and every project you'll end up working with that will definitely be dealing with maybe if like somewhere around billions of people <laughs> like you know like google is being used by almost like uh lots of people over the world <laughs> so like my work like i currently work on youtube ads and yeah i'm dealing with like billions of people so <laughs> the scale of working it's like really a new thing for me and yeah it's i don't know like how to explain it but it's, it's a really good feeling